Welcome to VA Houston. Located in one of the nation's largest and most diverse cities, VA Houston is home to the renowned Michael E. DeBakey VA Medical Center and many community-based outpatient clinics. Serving over 130,000 veterans across Texas and beyond, we offer an extensive array of services provided by our exceptional leadership and staff. Among our talented staff, the VA Houston Pharmacy Service plays an integral role in optimizing patient care and training the next generation of pharmacy leaders. For individuals interested in developing clinical and operation skills while simultaneously impacting veterans, VA Houston Pharmacy offers PGY-1 positions as well as PGY-2 roles in psychiatry, infectious diseases, and ambulatory care. The PGY-2 Ambulatory Care Pharmacy Residency Program continues to grow with time. We've incorporated new learning experiences as the ambulatory care clinical pharmacy um, preceptors have grown. We try to incorporate more learning experiences tailored to the individual pharmacy residents' strengths and desires to improve. So I chose the VA Houston because I was really looking for a program that was all-encompassing regarding my career goals. Um, I'm interested in ambulatory care and so um, this program has a really robust um, primary care uh, program. We have a lot of uh, packed clinics um, that focus on diabetes and that was something that um, I'm really interested in as well as the PGY2 ambulatory care program and so they have the option to um, early commit for that and so that was kind of one of the first things that uh, drew me to this program. The residency program um, director and coordinator are always open to feedback and are always looking for ways to improve the program. One thing that's unique about the Michael E. DeBakey VA Medical Center is that this is the largest VA in the country. So we get to see so many different types of patient populations and very complex disease states as well, which just helps us grow as pharmacists. The preceptors and the pharmacy staff are always rooting for our success. Another aspect that I find um, very helpful is that we have a large residency class so it's just really great to have people who are going through the same thing as you that you can relate to and lean on for support. In addition to my virtual door being open and the residency program director's virtual and physical doors being open, we do provide the resident an opportunity to identify and formalize a residency mentor. So this individual um, has regular meetings with the resident and just provides additional guidance outside of the director or coordinator. So one opportunity that I'm really excited for this year is to go do an in-person lecture at um, Texas Southern University's Pharmacy School. Um, I'm going to be going to teach a lecture on post-traumatic stress disorder. Another way that we support the resident and help them to establish a community in Houston is through participation in our joint uh, curriculum with other ID pharmacy trainees and ID pharmacists in the Texas Medical Center. Through participation in this program, the ID residents get to interact with and communicate with their future colleagues who are also training in the Houston area. So, you know, how we typically tailor um, our residency program to the residents' interests uh, usually includes a, you know, entering interest form that we have the residents fill out. Um, and we use that to, you know, try to figure out, you know, what rotation experiences uh, they would, you know, be a good fit for, allow them to, you know, review the different elective opportunities that we have in the different clinical practice areas, and then just give them the freedom to choose from those electives where they really want to uh, pursue, uh, you know, during their, you know, second part of the year rotations. Outside of the rotations that are offered at this VA, I would say that another thing that makes our residency program stand out and unique are just our preceptors. Our preceptors care so much about the residents. Our preceptors come from all over the country with multiple and diverse backgrounds. Um, we're able to offer a rotation in practically almost anything that our PGY1 residents are interested in. So the resident interacts with the mental health service in various ways. One of the ways, of course, is that they have multiple mental health rotations, inpatient and outpatient, um, experiencing a variety of specialties within mental health. So they get to interact with physicians, PAs, social workers, nurses, and beyond. So one of the things that makes me most proud about our infectious diseases residency program is the fact that we've really been able to grow our, um, our services within infectious diseases since the time that I was a resident about seven years ago. Uh, we've been able to um, expand our HIV prevention program 
Um, also service several thousands of veterans and treat them for hepatitis C and also expand our OPAT program um, since last year. And in addition to that, our residents have been very successful after completing their residency and because of the scope and nature of our program, it prepares them for both infectious disease settings in the outpatient or inpatient. So in regards to where a lot of our former PGY2 AMCARE residents are, uh, for the most part here at the Michael E. DeBakey VA Medical Center, we try to retain as many residents as possible. Um, on one of our former residents, Dr. Emma Lagu, uh, she's actually at the South Texas uh, Veteran Affairs uh, facility. Um, but as far as Dr. Sheck Snyder, Dr. Emma Hia, as well as our most recent resident, Dr. Bria Waits, we've all retained them. What I love about our PGY1 and PGY2 programs is that our preceptors, coordinators, and directors truly invest their time and resources into every resident. I really feel that our mentorship here is taken seriously, um, and whereas the mentorship can even last beyond the year experience and even to a last, lasting a lifetime. I really think that what makes us special is that for me, I was previously a resident and because of the time, resources, and investment put into me has motivated me to do the same for the next generation. And lastly, and probably the most important thing that we do is to ensure that our residents don't have burnout. So we conduct burnout assessments with each rotation and address any workload issues or stresses. As you can see, our residency programs have the tools needed to sharpen our skills while providing the amazing opportunity to care for our nation's veterans. Our extensive catalog of clinical rotation, host of professional development opportunities, and our strong support from diverse preceptors and leadership allow this program to mold its residents into independent practitioners. We are pharmacy leaders. We are pioneers for patient care. We, we are VA Houston. Houston.